When we returned to camp, we were ready to begin the next phase of training. We were divided up into crews by now and began to train as a unit. Sergeant Brewer from South Carolina, a combat veteran of Korea, is our tank commander. I'm the gunner. Gates is our driver and Kennedy our loader. They're both from Ohio. One of our first exercises was learning how to mount up. This isn't as easy as it sounds. Each man has to time his movements so he doesn't tramp on the man ahead or hold up the men behind. And we had to do it over and over again before we were able to do it as fast as we were supposed to. But we finally got it. After we learned how to mount up, our next job was learning how to handle a tank. The first step was a series of practice runs out on the range, with one of the instructors riding along to tell us what to do. Another purpose of these trips was to show us how to maneuver with other tanks. That meant we had to know all of the standard arm and hand signals, of course. While it may seem like it's all work out here, we do have our share of fun, too. I'm writing this letter from the edge of our swimming pool, and that desert sun sure feels good on my back. Makes me think I'm at some fancy resort like Las Vegas. Of course, I don't get a chance to feel this way very often. Last week, for instance, we started gunnery practice. Our first test was to be on the machine gun. I was detailed to the job of putting out the elevation marker. Then the flag went up on the control tower and the command came to start firing. Since I'm the gunner, I got the first crack at the targets but the other members of the crew got their chance later on. 